Hey, Coach, congrats on the win tonight. Um, just wondering if you can describe what you saw from your team uh, when they were able to build that big lead, uh, what you saw defense, where the breakdowns were, where the Suns got back into it, and ultimately how you were able to close it out. Um, well, I thought, you know, in the first quarter, um, I thought we did a good job. First quarter and a half, by really sharing the basketball. Um, everyone was getting involved. Um, we had 17 assists at halftime. But I think you know, second half, we only had seven assists, but we didn't have a lot of have a lot of makes either. But I thought uh, mine did a good job with just adjusting and going small and playing Sarge at the five. So it put us in scramble mode and they um, made some open threes. Um, so um, that was the biggest turn, you know, in the game for us. It's just um, the last six minutes of the game, you know, just keeping our composure. I thought that, you know, a lot of guys were chasing the ball. So we had three guys at the, at the basketball at one time and, we didn't keep our space and just running our flow offense or our step up offense. So I told the guys that was on me just as far as just, you know, just keep, keep our space and keep our flow offense going. And then we can attack in any way, if it's man or zone. So, um, but that's a big win, you know, for a team that's been playing great um, to come in here and, you know, build a 31 point lead and, you know, get out of here with a, with a win. Thank you. Okay, let's move over to uh, Miriam. Hey, Ty, congrats on the win. Um, how, what'd you make of Paul tonight? I mean, he, he was so huge for you guys, but what, what did you, he kind of did a little bit of everything and, and what, what do you make of him this season? It seems like he kind of has something to prove and that after what happened last year, you know, guys are looking at him a little different. No, he's playing great. You know, I think to come on the road and, and play the way our guys did, you know, Luke was great, Kennard off the bench, or Reggie was really good. And then, like I said, for Kawhi to shoot four for 21 and come into a situation where we, you know, got out of here with a win, you know, it was big for us, you know, with PG playing the, the kind of basketball he's playing right now. Um, he's in a good rhythm and a good zone. So uh, we got to do whatever we can to keep him there. Okay, we'll move over to Charlie. Hey, Coach. Uh, obviously, he made that uh, big three, but how good has Batum been for you guys? Nick's been really good. I think just his passing ability, his IQ. And you see tonight we had him on Booker. We had him on CP. He guarded Aiden. Um, he's just very versatile on offense and defense. So he's very important to what we're trying to do. Um, he's only going to get more and more comfortable. And um, he was a great addition for us. He seems like he's kind of just always in the right place. Uh, <laughs> which is... Yeah, I think that comes a lot from IQ and just knowing the game and how to play the game. And um, he really did a good job for us tonight, like you said, with that big three. Let's move over to uh, Justin Russo. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. A couple days ago, you said that the benchmark for this team for turnovers is about 12 or 13 a game. And tonight you had 10. And the last game, you also had 10. And the one against Portland, you had 11. How proud are you of this team and their ability to take care of the ball over the last couple nights and be able to win a couple of these games with the low turnover totals? You know, very proud. It's something we talked about and harped on. You know, um, like I said, the guys are doing a good job of taking care of the basketball, but also sharing the basketball as well. So. Um, when PG and Kawhi and Lou and those guys are getting into the paint and spraying it out for threes, um, we're really good. You know, it's you know um, tough to beat. And so um, if we can continue to attack the paint, get get inside, you know, deep, and then still be able to make the right pass and right play without turning it over, it's going to be key for us. And like you said, the last three games have been good. Okay, we'll move over to Andrew. Hey, Ty. Uh, Kawhi has been. He's so so honest with us about how how much he does not like wearing that mask and how uncomfortable he finds it. Do you, do you feel like that's affected his play? He hasn't shot well the last couple of games. He's done more than that. Obviously, he had a great game rebounding and um, assisting yeah. in Utah. But um, I, do you feel like that's affecting his shot? Um, you know, I talked to him about it. Uh, I think yesterday or two days ago, and he was just saying that it's uncomfortable, but it's hard to breathe. And um, I've never had to play with a mask before, um, so I really don't know what it feels like, but I could see how it could be uncomfortable. You got to keep strapping it up. It could get foggy on you. So um, I really don't know, you know, but like, you know, he was excited. Just told the guys, you know, way to step up for him tonight. And like I said, we got a lot of good play, especially from PG. So um, that's what our team wants to be about. You know, we want to just next man up, you know, guys be ready, you know, help your teammate, help your partner and, uh, and move on with the win. So we did that tonight. If we have time for a few more, we'll move over to uh, Tomir. Hey, Ty, congrats on the win. 
I, I'm just curious, uh, just take me through, I guess, the philosophy. Obviously, you guys have three outstanding one-on-one -on -one guys in Kawhi, PG, uh, even Lou Will. But, you know, when the offense sometimes gets stagnant down in the fourth quarter, are you are you pressing pressing them to, to move the ball more, create more movement? Or what's your philosophy late in games like that? No, our philosophy is, you know, the first three and a half quarters, we definitely want to have movement and have the ball moving. But in the last six minutes, you kind of play through your best players. And um, that's my philosophy. So, um you know, playing through PG and Kawhi. I thought we got Kawhi on the post like four or five, probably five or six times in the last six minutes. He got to his shot in mid range. He just didn't make it, you know, and um, the same for PG. So um, last six minutes, you know, it's, it's money time. So I'm going to my best player down the stretch and um, I'm going to live with it. Okay, and last question is going to go to Farwad. Hey, coach, congrats on the win. Uh, this is the second time now we're it seemed like you guys had a big lead and it could have, you know, really went the other way, but somehow everybody pulled through. Can you just talk about the mental resolve and the toughness of this team when things could potentially go sour? Um, just everybody was calm in the huddle. Um, they made a good run. Like I said, we, we wanted to, to come into the game and try to take Booker out of the game. And I thought we did that, you know, only having 10 points in the first half. And then he kind of pressed and drove a lot and got to the free throw line. But, you know, what Monty did, he went small by putting Sarge at the five and, kind of had us in scramble mode a little bit. They made some threes, but, you know, I decided I wanted to stay with it, you know, because I know Booker can get going <laughs> at any time. So we wanted to just try to take the ball out of his hands as much as possible and make other guys beat us. And um, they made some shots in that second half, but it wasn't enough. All right. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Yeah. What's up, Kawhi? Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first question will come from Andrew. Hey, Kawhi, um, what did you make of, first of all, Paul, the way he was able to get hot um, early on? And then I guess for you, what do you feel like has kept you um, from kind of shooting the way you normally have, not only this last game, but also tonight? Uh, just, it's an easy one. So, um, you know, Paul did his thing. He uh, carried us tonight, you know, and that's why he's here. Let's move over to Owen. Hey, Kawhi, did you um, start the game without the mask and then put put it back on later in the first quarter? And and why why did that happen? Did they did someone tell you you had to play with it? No, not at all. Uh, we just didn't have it out there at the time, um, and um, you know we, you know, later on in the first quarter, probably about a minute left, I uh, was able to get the mask back. Uh, just was waiting for uh, one of the staff to get it for me. Thanks, Kwai. Okay, we'll take a few more questions. Um, I'll move over to Fobot. Hey, Kwai, uh, congrats on the win. Can you just talk about the play of Nicholas Batum and just how important he's been to this team's success while Marcus Morris has been out? Uh, I mean, he's been great. Uh, he's been playing both ends of the floor knocking down big shots like he did late in that fourth quarter to make us uh, pretty much still the game, getting us, getting us up at six points, um, playing great defense, passing the ball. Uh, you know, he's been a big, uh, you know, pickup for us. Okay, we'll move over to uh, Tomer. Hey, Kawhi, uh, you guys have played, I think, six games now. And most of them have been blowouts. Is it tough to assess the team when, when all the games have been so – I guess point differential spread out so wide. Uh, I mean, you could see, uh, you know, last game uh, against Utah, we fought back, and then tonight uh, the Suns didn't give up, and we were able to keep the lead and keep our uh, composure and finish the game out. And uh, I mean, right now, I just feel like uh, you know we've been fighting to the end, pretty much. What's what's been the I guess if there's anything concerning to you that you see about the team right now, what is it? Um, I'm not sure it's early. Um, you know, we want to keep getting better. Obviously, we are for now where we want to be. Um, you know, we're still learn, learning uh, each other, uh, learning um, T. Lou, and uh, we want to keep striving. We, we want to get better. Um, you know, that's all I can really say. Okay, uh, and last question will go to Cameron Buford. Hey, Kawhi, congrats on W. Um, at the end of last season, you mentioned that you guys, you wanted the team to get uh, smarter, wiser on the basketball court. 
Um, do you feel that Nick Batum and the addition of Serge Ibaka kind of satisfied that request? We're trying to get better still. Um, it's not about what I said last year. We're still trying to get better. Thank <laughs> you.